here we are again and another video with the Mike Smith Metro lamp lantern even we can have a look inside it and see if we can retrofit a GEC high pressure sodium in it and do away with the CDO lamp that is in there so I'll turn it around a minute and undo these once I turn the camera around a bit you can see it a bit better a bit wobbly there They're out here in the garden on the grass so these come down and should flick round there you go there's one and just simply flick up that one needs to come out more all right that's that one and then we've got another one just around the bottom here put it on the screen right now we have got it open let's do it sideways i think a bit sideways i think <laughs> it's like a big loose seat right i'll tell you what let's do it this way well actually we can remove the bow the bolt Right, so move you all around a bit so you can see it better. There we go. Right, so this is obviously where the um, the actual uh, ballast is behind here. So what we need to do, I need to get a little Phillips in there, or maybe I can do it. I should be. Right back. And back we are. Little Allen key set. So let's see what size Allen key we need in here, which it looks like it's going to be of that size. Oh, what a good guess that is. Now if I wind in this round they should reveal this should come down and reveal the ballast gear inside so we can take a look inside it. There we go, so this should now Ah, Nurika. Okay, just pick you up so we can see inside. I'll try not to wobble too much on this. Alright, so there we've got the inside there. So, it looks like... It looks like it's a uh, not an electronic ballast at all. It actually looks like it is. Yes, it does look like a, a normal switch start. Let me see that in there, okay. I'm trying to get the camera so you can see it better. So there we've got the ignite and capacitor. And the ballast is down here. And we have the photo cell right down the bottom. So, will, will a 70 watt sodium fire up? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So if we put put you all back down here again there we are stuff is making you dizzy <laughs> so here we have fresh in the post today a 70 watt colour lux GE not feeling very nimble today by the way right this is really quite lightweight actually this here. Let's get my knee out of the way so you can see it better. If you want to see my knee. Right, let's try and see if we've got it there, haven't we? Yep. Now this is a CD, it's a CD OTT lamp. You see the little thing there, the Phillips. 70 watt. If you actually see 
Might best see a part of the. I don't think it will see the etch on that. I don't know. There it is. So just in comparison to the two, but I think these ones look better. Right, so. Move around again. Okay, so we now have a sodium lamp in situ. I'm just sorting my tripod out. I really have to get a gimbal at some point. Right, okay. Now, let's see the moment of truth. Plug it in and see if it'll fire up that one. Ah, yes I can hear it humming and is it firing, let's see what it does, yes it's fluttering, it's fleckering, because we're outside we can't really see a lot of what's going on but it is actually starting to fire. Seems to be coping with it okay. It seems to be <laughs> seems to be firing up, looking like a mercury actually. No, it seems to be running all right. This is very strange. Oh, I think we're getting a little bit of uh, yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> ah yes, there we go. There's the sodium. Sodium's coming through on it. The classic orange before the bright pink. My word, that is very orange, isn't it? And that's a photo cell switched it off. <laughs> so that sometimes happens when it's when you do things when it's daylight. There we go, we're back on again. Put my fingers over the photo cell and it should come on brighter. This is more of a soft light than the CDO lamp that was in it. Which I think is a lot better actually, these sort of little lights there. There we go, almost fully lit. That is a much better lamp having these doesn't it there we go now it's time to put it all back together again so that is a 70 watt high pressure sodium in these so it, they do run high pressure sodium it's brilliant isn't it right it's going to be bright now so I'm going to let it switch off and come back to me well that was an interesting little video wasn't it about that I was quite confident this sort of lamp would work on one of these lanterns and it does so there you go you also got to see part of my backyard and a part of me running around quite a, a little video this wasn't it so until next time hope you enjoyed this one and we'll be looking at more lights and lanterns in the not too near future bye for now